Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again to check out another beer and today is a good day. Julius from Treehouse is the beer that I'm actually taking a look at today. And this is one that I would say would be on my so-called bucket list of beers. Uh, we don't really get Treehouse down here. So thank you to Average Joe from the Beer Patrol. You can check out his station. I'll put a link down in the description. He actually sent this down in a recent beer mail. Been wanting to try this one for a period of time. So happy to finally receive this. It is an IPA that comes in at 6.8% ABV. Nice little one pint can. On the back, there are some other details as well. If you wanted to pause the camera or the video and you can read that there if you like. Um, I just really want to get into this beer because I've been waiting so long to actually try it. Makes notes of there about peach, passion fruit, uh, a melange of citrus. And uh, let's go ahead and get this one open and get it into a class. It does say keep cold and drink fresh. And the date on this one is 7 10 18. Today's 8 6, so we're just under a month's time, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna let that uh, hold me from drinking it. Um, there's also a little note on the bottom where it says, I'm terrible at this game. So I don't know who stamped that in there. What the pertinence of that is, if somebody put that on there because in Massachusetts it relates to one of the athletes, or if it's just something they felt like putting on the can. Let's get this baby open. Get the party started. Julius. I feel like I should have used my Sparta voice. This is Julius. Good movie, 300. Did enjoy that. So this glass I'm actually using is a glass designed for IPA. If you haven't seen this type of glass out there before, it is supposed to be specially cut. I hope you keep in the aromas and also the uh, the flavors of the beer itself as they actually unveil themselves and wow what a nice looking beer nice orange color look at that you're not seeing through that at all get a light behind it nope still not getting through there nice hazy orange color nice head on there that pretty much sits pretty much dead on white if it's off it's barely off nice bubble in there for the bubble action and so we should get some nice lacing of the glass as well as far as the aroma now i do pick up some of what i would consider to be kind of a, a muskiness but it's really more like the resinous type quality from the hops definitely still has a nice fresh cut smell to it picking up that citrus note from the uh the julius here definitely orange definitely tangerine as well a little bit of a melon in there but i like that resinous quality just smells so good and the lacing is taking its time I'm sorry the uh, head is taking its time breaking it down and leaving a little bit of lacing behind as well so right now we're pretty much still at a two finger go ahead and get the taste on this bad boy nice citrus feel in the taste getting a nice greenness from the hops here nice feel in the back end went down rather easily not much of a throw scratch and a little bit in there but not really much to talk about along those lines has a nice little mouth feel and mouth quality left behind feel some action taking place in the cheek area well put together beer for sure nice body on it that i would consider to be a medium body not overly heavy got the bitterness up front really does hit you on that initial kind of on the tip of the tongue but on the back end has a nice break as it goes to the finish not overly bitter on the finish at all leaving behind a nice remnant of the beer that you're actually feeling is still in the mouth after swallowing a good period of time nice duration can still feel in the mouth some of the flavor from the hops that were used here still got a little bit of that orange feel left over a little bit of a tangerine type feel but a pretty decent IPA I don't know if it, I would say it's the best IPA that I've had, but it is definitely pretty solid. It's definitely well up there on the top level of IPAs. I almost feel like at this point, it's got so much of the hype behind it that people may look at that more than anything. But I do like the feel. I do think it's uh, pretty decent. And if you've had this one out there, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. But I would say definitely worth 
get your hands on if you can to try. And I can't see really any IPA fans that wouldn't like this one. So, very nice beer. Julius from Treehouse. Thank you, Joe, again for getting this to me so I can finally uh, scratch this off my list. And uh, well worth it. Thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. Like I said, if you've had this before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comments section. Let me know what you think about it. And I look forward to catching you guys next time. Please remember to like and subscribe as well. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.